and salutations and welcome to the finale of Shovel Knight. It is 1 a.m. in the morning. I am hopped up on coffee and brownies. Let's go. Let's begin the Tower of Fate, the final level. Strike the Earth. It's actually kind of a clue, believe it or not. When I first... Uh, oh, did I drop frames there? I did. That was weird. I dropped like 30 frames there for some reason. Jeez. Uh, I hope that shows up in the video. Or I hope it doesn't show up in the video. Excuse me. Uh, when I first got in this room, I was actually really confused about what to do because there's nothing here. And then, you hit the wall. And good stuff happens. Yay! So yes, this is the finale. I have no idea how long it'll be because this level is actually kind of short. I will say, however... No, not the anchors. This room right here gave me the utmost trouble. Uh, all it is is it's just... Okay, you see? You see? You see! See what happens? We do actually have one check mark here, too. Uh... Yeah, that room actually gave me a lot of trouble because it's really weird. Well, okay, it's not weird at all. It's just like one of the towel rooms from Link to the Past or something like that. For whatever reason, I... And also, that gold down there is just gone forever. It will never be seen. It'll never see its family again. It's little gold children with their gold hair and gold eyes and... And... This is sounding slightly, uh, like, Aryan, and I'm not sure how I feel about it! Okay, whoa, I pulled back from that. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! I wasn't near that. You know what, actually? I bet I can get this back with that there fishing pole. Let's go fishing for some gold. Ha-ha! Sweet! I got my monies. It's on my monies. I can't think of anything that rhymes with monies besides honeys, and that's my bad. Okay, when we enter this falling death room here, fall to the left. Fall to the left. Fall to the left. <laughs> Trust me on that. Uh, and also, don't, like, rush forward in this like I did, because you will die horribly, and it's really bad. There's actually a lot of precision platforming in this particular section, which can be quite annoying. However, the room is totally worth it, because we have <gasps> the last music sheets in the game. So let's pick all these up and actually make sure we got all of them in the game. I believe we did, though. I really do. Did we? No! Oh wait, because we haven't returned them. Yeah, we did! Okay, yeah. Return 36 out of 46 and 2 return 10. So we've gotten every piece of music in the game and that makes me happy. Uh, we've gotten all the shovel techniques. We didn't get all the armor because it's not necessary. We got all the uh, meal tickets, all the magic upgrades, all the relics. Yeah, we did a good job. Also, if you come over here, I believe... There's a triple here, if I remember right. And I don't remember what he gives you, but it'll be useful regardless, so let's go ahead and get it. Hello, Mr. Triple. Yeah, you command me, I'll help Triple King. Yay, he gives you the health potion, which is awesome because I forgot to get it off screen. Yoo-hoo! We're all set to fight the boss lady now. Now let's not die on the way back through the perilous lava. Oh, oh god, I almost actually fell. That would have been really awkward. Really, really awkward. So here we have a annoying room where the floor is crumbling and you will die multiple times. Uh, it, it was like weird, like Christopher Walken mixed with William Shatner. Not really sure where all that came from, but you know what? Whatever, it works. See, oh geez, I keep giving myself hard attacks. There's a lot of precision platforming in this, but luckily, thanks to the people who suggested I start using the, uh, the joystick, so the D-pad, I think we're safe from here. I think we can just, yeah. Uh, precision platforming isn't all that bad. Yeah! Yeah! We actually did really good on that. I'm happy. From here on out, you can pretty much just book it. Although I did take that very slow in practice, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I know that now. And luckily, we have the checkpoint. Oh, by the way, remember in the intro, we had those checkpoints I couldn't destroy, and I was kind of like, what the crap, why can't I destroy them? The ones with the wings you can't destroy. Didn't know that. Now I know that. And now you know that. And it only took the, to the finale. All right, epic time. Epicness of epic epic. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Shield Knight, come, whoa, Shield Knight, that's Shield Knight? Come with me, let us leave this place. How pitiful, cling, cling, cling on to false hope, click, chasing ghost. That sounds like a Mumford and Sons lyric. Clinging on to false hope, chasing ghost. I am not Mumford or Sons, as a matter of fact. <laughs> So have you come to slay me, Knight, to avenge your beloved? Yeah, actually. Gaze into my eyes, see how fearful I am. Watch me cower as you draw your blade. I don't need a blade to fight evil, Shield Knight. I know you aren't lost forever. You haven't the slightest hope of defeating me, but I won't stop you from trying. So please, 
Let us dance together into the abyss. That's actually not, I know in the last episode I asked what was your favorite uh, video game quote. That's not a bad one right there, actually. Let us dance together in the abyss. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I'd like to ask that of all my prayers. The prayer victims, I actually don't remember. I think he says pray, doesn't he? Fire! Fire bad. So this is actually kind of a very tough fight. As you might expect, being the last fight at the end of the game and all. Although, I'll be honest, I tend to make it worse on myself because of my freaking habit. Okay, this is actually the more annoying attack she does. Because it, it's completely random. Yeah, my habit of doing that. Of, like, randomly jump striking down. Stop with the destroying things. Uh, which, yeah, that. Stop it, John. It's actually, it makes it considerably more difficult because I always, I'll always end up killing myself. We have plenty of magic, so we might as well go ahead and use it. Magic's not going to be all that useful in the last fight anyway, so, like, the last, last fight. Spoilers! There's two forms. Yeah, who saw that one coming? Nobody? I'm sorry, I spoiled it for you. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's not going to be particularly useful in that fight, so we might as well... Oh god, no! Okay, I thought I was dead. I legitimately thought I was dead. Legitimately. Not legitimately, just legitimately. Hey, what did you, did you see her? She like moon, like air moon walked out of the way there. She's an airbender! Kill her! Eh, Jesus. Okay. Whew. You, get a little, you get a little scary there for a minute, not gonna lie. The windows! You're cracking them in a uniform manner. And... Boom! Our lovely, lovely Shield Knight pops out. It's just so wonderful. And we can catch her. I actually failed to do this on my practice file. Yes. I don't know if it actually means anything if you fail that. She hit the ground and bounced. I can tell you that much for sure. You caught me. Only I had known. I apparently have the same voice as you. You knew I was still there, even though it seemed hopeless. You never gave up on me. I will never give up on you. I will follow you to the end of the world. It appears that maybe you have. What's happening? No, when the amulet shattered, the magic within it was released. It's already gathering. It will escape and wreak havoc on everything. Unless we stop it. Unless we stop it. We can destroy it for good, here and now. But we're both weak from battle. I've never been more ready. Come on, Shovel Knight. Let's fight together like old times. Now, stay close to me. And she means that, by the way. You should really stay close to her, because this evil demonic thing, which looks like a Pokemon, actually, now that I think about it. I love the sprite. I love the sprite designs in this game. Everything's so cool. Uh, is out to destroy us. This is another one I actually died just by taking damage on, so I'm actually really happy we have both of those health potions there. As you can see, I suck at dodging, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, so the main thing is, we just have to wait for Shield Knight to jump up like she did there. And, uh, jump on top of her head. And that's really it. Although, it gets considerably, uh, more and more difficult as time goes on. But generally speaking, it's still not too bad. The fight itself is actually... I won't say, ow, I got hit. I got shot. Not good. Uh, I won't say the, the fight is easy, and I also won't say it's hard. It, it's kind of anti... I uh, may have taken that too soon, but oh well. It is kind of anticlimactic, though. Not even gonna lie. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> can't really do much over there, Shield Knight. I think I died more in the pits here. I died once by taking damage, I died twice by getting thrown into the pit. Uh, I need to phase lock it. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I really actually think it would be... Oh, really? You're gonna do on just the one? <clears throat> you can only max get three hits off of it. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna... Bye-bye, yeah. phase lock it. Everything's gonna be okay with the phase lock it. Even though I actually hate it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Get back here, Shield Knight. No! Oh, you actually saved me, witch lady. Thanks? I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. <laughs> no! Oh, I hate you. Luckily, I don't have to cut this out because it starts right back here. Which is really good. Although it does kind of take away the, uh, meaning. Although we did use our health potion. So now we don't have that. I actually need to work a little bit harder on dodging these. They're so hard to dirge, though. I mean, we got the phase log it, so I mean... Oh, no, I didn't make you over. You know what? Bye. Phase log it. Phase log it. It's like a hot pocket. Equally as useful. <laughs> Only in certain situations. <laughs> See, now I just really want there to be an actual, like, relic in this game that's just a hot pocket. You see, 
What you have to do is throw it at your enemies, and it will both freeze and melt them. At the same time. Hot pockets are actually a magical, magical thing. The fact that they can be hot as lava in, uh, on the, in the mid, or no, excuse me, on the outside, and then like cold as ice on the inside. It's quite impressive, actually. It's a feat of uh, greatness that science has blessed us with. <laughs> science blessed us with the hot pocket. Now that, that is a salesman tactic if I ever heard one. You don't like something? Science made it, therefore it's good. <laughs> So, so now I'll just keep picturing like a, a mad scientist somewhere that actually like spent time and effort trying to make the worst thing possible. All of it like resulting in the hot pocket. The bane of humanity. The pocket that is neither hot nor cold. A little bit of both. Yay, thank you, Shield Knight. Not really sure where that hot pocket rant came from, but you know what? Whatever. Hey! I don't know if I should blame Shield Knight for that or you. But ow, Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, we got... No. No, not with the death. Not with the death and destruction. Yes. Yes! Got it! Ah, uh, I was actually kind of worried there for a second. Yay! It's over, Shovel Knight. This place is falling apart. We have to get out of here. Let's go. Okay. I wasn't talking or anything, lady. Thanks for killing me. Chill Knight! Black Knight, thank goodness you're here. Shovel Knight is wounded. Take him and get outside. No! I can't leave you behind! How will you escape? This magic is too strong. I can't hold out much longer. Run! You can't deflect it! It will tear you apart! I'm so happy I got to see you both one last time. Shield Knight! Go! Take Shovel Knight. Save him. Promise me you'll save him! Oh, oh it's so sad! When I was playing, the first time I saw this ending, I, like was borderline screaming at the monitor, just like, No! No! You will not do this to my soul! My emotions cannot handle such a hit! Oh. And now we can see the epic cutscene. I really, really enjoyed this game. I should probably wait to the credits before I start gushing too much, but I just had to get that out there. Oh, speak of the devil. And it's gonna go through and show us all the different enemies and what happened to all the different bosses and all that. It's really neat. But yes, I have adored, adored this game. It has been absolutely amazing. I cannot, literally cannot speak highly enough of this. I can think of one time I actually felt a little bit cheated, and even then it was something that just games inherently do sometimes. Not something about the design. Not something about the looks, the way it plays, not the controls. Everything about this game is amazing. Everything is so tight, so well designed, both visually, like, sound-wise, and everything. Story, dialogue, the pun frog, everything is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if I've ever actually gushed about a game this much. Mostly because, like, most of the games I play I'm, I'm fairly nostalgic about. So by the time I get to the end of it, I'm like, yeah, I've played this game about a million times, so it's great. Take my word for it. You guys have probably played it too. This is the one, one of them I haven't, like, I just beat this game like two days ago for the first time. And this is only the second time I beat it. And the first time I've 100%, well, I don't think this actually counts as 100%, but all the music notes and every, all the music sheets and everything else. This is the first time I've done that. And it feels so good. It's just such a good game, you feel so rewarded, and every, like, everything is just pulled together so well. And I just, I, I cannot, cannot gush about this game <clears throat> enough. I'm actually making myself go hoarse. I'm enjoying it so much. It's so good! The one thing, okay, this part right here, the Wandering Travelers. I wish they would have done more with these guys. We didn't see them a lot. Every one of them we only saw once, especially some of them that seem to imply some sort of, like, background. But whatever, I mean, I think there are they are actually doing a sequel, so maybe we'll see more of them then. Like, if, if that's your biggest complaint, that some characters weren't utilized enough, you've made it a pretty good game. And this one specifically, it's just amazing. I just love this game so much. It is definitely, like, shot up to be one of my favorite games ever. Maybe not my favorite, but definitely one of my favorite newest, for sure. Like, top three of my favorite newest games, like on up there with Skyrim and Fallout and everything else. 
it has just been such an amazing, amazing experience, and I'm so glad I decided to LP it. Oh, look at the wolfies. So good. So cute. So cute. So good. Everything. Everything. Everything is good, and I just love it so much. Good old Polar Knight. Polar Knight. That was his name. Not Snow Knight. I don't know why I was calling him Snow Knight. That was kind of dumb. Ah. Uh, so what are we rewarded with for beating the game? I want to know! Oh, hey, Black Knight. I kind of wish I would have changed back the original armor, but oh well. Safe at last. I kept my promise, Shield Knight. Rest well, Shovel Knight. Until we meet again. And I hope we do. Truly, truly. Maybe in the sequel we'll get to see his kids. That'd be really awesome. But wait! Shield Knight! Whatever happened to her? No! Okay. So, we're actually going to fast forward through the, uh, the credits here. You can actually fast forward the credits by pressing uh, on the Xbox controller A button, which is actually kind of an awesome feature. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've gushed enough about this game throughout the series and through this. Thank you for all the Kickstarter backers. It's play it. Go and buy this game. I don't care, like, if you can afford it or not. Oh, oh wait, wait, it's that. Uh, let's see. Total deaths. Five on Lost City, six on Iron Whale. This actually wasn't too bad. I got... Most of these I got done pretty quickly. Tower of Fate, I died twice. Ascent, I died six times. Looks like I only died like six maximum. Or most of them. I only died about 50 times. That's not awful. It's really, really not. About four hours. Total item completion, 95. What did I miss? The other suits of armor? That's the only thing I can think of. In the comments, let, you guys that, that I have 100% of this, let me know, uh or item 100% of this. Let me know in the comments what I actually missed, please. I want to go back and get them, just so I can say I did. Maybe I'll do a bonus episode or something. Alright, thank you for playing, produced by Yacht Club Games. No, thank you for making this game, Yacht Club. Thank you so much. I just love it. I just love it. Yeah, I just love it. I really, really do. <gasps> Uh-oh. What happens now? <gasps> it's Shield Knight! This, this part right here actually made me tear up a little bit the first time I saw it. It really did. It was just... Ah, uh, God. It's just so good. I, w I, want, I, I wish I would have changed back to the original armor just because I think it looks a little bit better when they're clashing a little bit, the blue and red. But whatever, this works. It's so good. Oh, it's so good! Go play this game! Like, right now. Go play this game like five times over because that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually, as soon as I finish recording this, I may actually go and try and find the other 5% of the items myself. Ah, the end. Another LP come to Drawn. This one didn't last as long as I thought it was, but it was still a fantastic experience. This has definitely been probably one of my favorite LP... Definitely, probably. This has definitely probably been one of my favorite LPs I've ever done. Mostly just for the game itself. It's just, it's so good. So, today's daily question, as I do at the end of every LP, there ever since I've started doing the daily question, what did you think of the LP? Did you enjoy it? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Let me know. Give me the feedback so I can, you know, hopefully produce better content in the future. Answer in the comments, blah, blah, blah. Have a good old time. As always, like if you like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share with friends. And guys, thank you for this, for this journey. And thank you, uh, guy who suggested, and I believe it was RDS and Serico? If I remember right, or maybe Picatote, I don't remember. But thank you guys so much for suggesting this. It it definitely, definitely became something I'm I'm happy about. So yes, uh, like, like, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe if you want to see more. And guys, I will see you next time in the next LP coming soon. See you next time.